New World whiskey is whiskey typically coming from a place you wouldn't usually associate with whiskey production or it's been made in a way that you wouldn't usually associate with whiskey being made. It's a sign that it's possible. You, know, you, get, you get great whiskey from Australia, from, from Germany, uh, from Italy, from Denmark. It's popping up all over the world. In my head, it means people that are driven by doing something that is interesting within the category. New World Whiskey means possibility. That's the great part, it means discovery. We don't yet know all the ways that that word is going to exist and what different expressions are going to come out of that. You know, maybe I'd replace the word world with approach or innovation. Uh, and I think, for me, that's the kind of thread that you're seeing in New World Whiskey. There's a way to take your weird whiskey from a strange part of the world into a, another part of the world where you know they like whiskey and, and just test if that's possible to happen. Historically, people would have made the safe decision of opting for a brand that they knew well, just because it was well known. Perhaps in the case of whiskey, because it had this age statement which somehow conveyed some sense of quality. You know, age statements, barrel types, um, single malt versus blend, Scotland versus the rest of the world. In terms of flavour, it doesn't really tell you a lot. The tradition and the weight of that in some places, it weighs heavy on a lot of old world whisky makers. And I think with consumers, um, they kind of have an expectation of what they're going to get. Whereas perhaps if we're looking at Finland, Sweden, Australia, Taiwan, India, you've not got those expectations. So yeah, so I set up recently a company uh, six years ago with a view of making inclusive, affordable, excellent booze. It just felt like a place that a whiskey distillery could be. You know, I knew that we were going to have to build a distillery. You know, how do we do that in a relevant way? You know, there's no point in my mind in making Scottish whiskey in England. You know, we've got to do things differently. Starting Whiskey started in 2005. This was a project to just try to make whiskey. So what inspires me for making Abasolo was the excitement of exploring the potential that corn could bring into spirits. We spent a lot of time going to local Derbyshire breweries, asking them for some of their live yeast, and we'd bring that back here. And so for us, having that collaboration with our local brewing sector has been really important and continues to be so. Most of the most important things we do happen before the whiskey making really starts. Our last release in August was a partnership with James Beard, award-winning baker, and he gave us his starter, his sourdough starter. You know, who knows if sourdough starter is going to make delicious whiskey, but why not try? You know, there are still people around that think whiskey has to be aged for 10 years. People were often blown away when the kind of the big reveal was that it's only been aged for 18 months and they couldn't quite believe it. You could just see people getting ready to say, yeah, this is too young, or this is not good enough, but you, you kind of stopped. It was like, wow, this is actually good. And we released it this last August, and it is by far our most popular club release, and it's really delicious. It doesn't taste like a bourbon. It doesn't taste like a Canadian whiskey. So it's a really very different flavor itself. I think what's exciting about the kind of new world whiskey movement, if you like, if there is such a thing, which I think there is, uh, is that there are no rules and everyone is driven by flavor. Denmark is not a whiskey country, so we don't have traditions we need to live up to. How do we see a Danish whiskey instead of just making a Scotch or Irish or American Japanese whiskey? Let's make a Nordic whiskey. I never did whiskey in my life, and I did tequila, and I did mezcal, and I did liqueurs. So this makes it easier for me not to discard certain concepts before they are tried. Well, our vision for Stowning is to get more whiskey out into the world. We need more people outside Denmark to taste Stowning whiskey. I mean, it's, it's been an amazing journey, but it's always a huge surprise to see how much the, the message resonates. It feels like we've only just started, we've only just got going.